Hey Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, how y'all feeling? I hope you're doing amazing, Virgo. We're going to jump right in. Let me get the preliminaries out of the way first. If you have Virgo placements in your chart, this could resonate. Could be past, present, or future energy I'm picking up on. Could also be someone else in your energy field. Only take and resonate. Leave the rest for someone else and flip the roles if you need to. Virgo, if you're in connection and little to no communication or you just want to know what's going on on the energetic level, the deeper level with your person, where things are going, where you stand, how this will turn out most likely, and a time frame of when you can expect said changes. Stick around and let's get into this past, present, and future energy for my Virgo. My Virgo. Hmm. Okay. All right. Overall energy is the four of wands. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or you have Aries placements. Could be a neighbor of yours, somebody from the same community, whether that's the same church, family, your actual community you live in. Could have met this person at a party, could be married to this person. This is coming through as a twin flame, 1111. Again, Aries energy. This is a happy home, a happy family. So you could be in a marriage with this situation with this situation with this person or um maybe live with them or previously have or maybe this is what someone is thinking about that's a card of celebration so uh maybe someone's birthday is coming up i don't know let's get into it though the past energy with you and this person is the eight of wands i mean the ace of wands the six of swords and the star leo aries sagittarius or a um uh aquarius that you're dealing with hmm i feel like some of you took a chance on love again after going through something really really hard um and this person came in they kind of swept you off your feet they charmed you they wined and dined you they you know had a very passionate connection with you a lot of chemistry with this person and i feel like you got back out there and started dating again after moving away from something that was a bit tumultuous it could even be with this person maybe giving them a second chance all right Again, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a um, Scorpio. Scorpio, I mean, what am I talking about? Not a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Ah, I can't keep up. All right, so your present energy is the Empress, the Eight of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Wow. I don't like this energy here. Some of you could be pregnant by this person right now. They could have walked away and broke your heart. That is very possible because that's what the cards are saying here, that someone is pregnant Someone else walked away or you could have walked away because they broke your heart. Definitely something broke down here. Could be with the Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Libra's coming through the strongest here, but it could be any sign. We're going to clarify. Your outcome here is the Five of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Leo, every Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. I'm feeling like you're dealing with somebody who in the future feels really stupid and foolish that their pride got in the way of them being able to have this connection with you, Virgo. I do feel like this person admires you. Have a, They still have a very strong attraction to you, almost to the point where they kind of feel a bit possessive here. Almost like you are their property and I don't like that, but you know, it ain't my situation. So let me mind my business. I do feel like they do admire you and a lot of them are like watching you on social media. Some of you are in the spotlight. I feel like they're watching other people make advances towards you. And you know, this person's coming through as a bit cocky, a bit arrogant here. Could have been a bully, could have had a lot of conflict with this person. They could have even been abusive, y'all. I just have to tell y'all what I see. Could have been physically abusive. Doesn't have to be for all of you, but abuse goes beyond physical. It could also be emotional abuse here. It could just be an abuse of power, knowing that you were so into them. Um, but this is coming through in the future energy. So something about this person still doesn't feel right. Let's get to past energy. The Knight of Wands, inconsistencies, it says. Yep. So this is the person again that charmed you. I told you that they came in, they charmed you. Ooh, they came in and charmed you. A lot of chemistry with you. A lot of you were healing from some other connection or either healing from a cycle with them and you gave them another chance. And I feel like they blew it. They blew their chance. That's what I hear. I blew my chance from them. I hear them saying that. Okay. So Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. We have Capricorn, irreplaceable, holding on tight. So this is the thing. They want to treat you bad, but they don't want to let you go. Could be a Capricorn. <sighs> Look at this, scarred and wounded. 
maybe a Sagittarius here. A lot of you put up a lot of fight for this connection. You used to 10 toes down for this person and they just kept abusing their power. What's the um, present energy? What's the Empress? Because I need to understand. That could be creativity, but like attracts like. Intense passion and sameness. Ace of, what is this? Ace of Wands. Again, coming out again. So yeah, this is a card of procreation. It's a sex card. It's chemistry. So there's a lot of physical chemistry. This is a person who's very attracted to you. The Empress coming out in a reading means that someone is extremely attracted to you. You could have children with them. It's a maternal energy, but don't make her matronly. She's not matronly. She's very sexy. She's very appealing, very luxurious, and all that good stuff. That's that's my major arcana. Get it right. <laughs> all right, so we have um, the Seven of Wands. This person says they want to fight for you now. Defensive, protective, opposition. I'm telling you, a lot of them see other people behind for your attention now, and they want to fight for you. Could be dealing with a Leo. It's all ego, y'all. This person's ego is too big. It's toxic. Okay, Eight of Cups, things went left, walking away. You can't make it up. It's, came up. it's coming out twice. Some of you walked away from this person or they walked away from you because you got pregnant. I need to understand what what who walked away. Let's see who walked away. Libra. Some of you could be on the Libra. What is it? Virgo Libra Cups. Elephant in the room. Indecisive, turning a blind eye. Some of you, this person was out here doing whatever they wanted to do, possibly a Libra. And some of you ignored it until you had to walk away. Could have been that they got someone else pregnant. That's possible too. You walked away because they got someone else pregnant and it broke your heart. Doesn't have to be you. And some of you may not even know. Do you know about this pregnancy? Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. Could be with a Cancer. It says soulmate. I need more. Oh, come on, God. What is that? The Five of Pentacles fell on the floor. Taurus Energy. That's being left out in the cold. Yeah, some of them could have gotten somebody else pregnant. They were out here whining and dining. Okay, I'm going to get that part off the floor later. I'm not going to subject y'all to that. All right, five of swords. What's the five of swords? It's real competitive energy. Rejection. Okay, so in the future, this person's going to want to fight for you because you're rejecting them. Could be dealing with the cancer. So they don't like the fact that you're not going to just take them back. That's a lot of nerve, right? What's the king of wands? This is someone very confident who's seeing you in their future. They're like, you're going to be mine. Well, we got the King of Swords coming out. This person is like, it came out in reverse. I'm going to take it up, right? Because these cards don't have reverse meanings on them. They want to come in and communicate with you some kind of truth about these strong feelings that they have for you. But I feel like you will reject them because a lot of you have other people that are interested in you. A lot of Leo energy coming out in your reading. Ace of Cups, you got a new person coming in, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio for a lot of you that might be amongst the crowd of people admiring you. You have some kind of date night coming in with this person. Um, look at this, the X returns. Could be a Scorpio you're walking away from. They want a reconciliation. Could be a Capricorn and they're trying to manifest you. Could be a Pisces. Messy, messy, messy. Messy boots, I tell you. They messy boots out here. Your ex is coming back and they want to fight your new person. <laughs> Look at them looking all crazy. Are we coming in to fight my new person because you had the opportunity to have me. But you out here making babies or leaving leaving me while I'm pregnant. That don't work. Who are you doing that to? One thing for certain, you messed over a, a thick sign. You It's an uphill battle to try to get us back. And I say for me, don't even waste your time because I don't want you after you do certain things to me. Uh -uh. Not interested. Let's get some oracle cards. Because I started getting flashbacks of things people have done to me. I might have to call people and cuss them out. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. <laughs> All right, Virgo. And, and look, y'all are not a fixed sign, but you could be dealing with a Leo who is a fixed sign. See, this isn't goodbye. I'm telling you, they ain't letting you go. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together again soon. See, they coming back soon. This person walked away from you. They regret it, as people usually do. The grass wasn't green over there. There were some weeds over there. With some poison ivy over there. But they had to learn the hard way. It's a shame you had to learn the hard way. Y'all listen to that song by Brandy. Learn the hard way. Because this is what I feel your person is going through. What is she? She's an Aquarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. My love for you is unconditional. 
I feel like your love for them was unconditional. They might be coming with their foolishness now, but some of y'all are like, mm, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Clock, need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal and progress. Exactly. You're moving forward. You're not interested. You're healing. And that's the only thing you're thinking about right now. But they're coming back. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. Well, you shouldn't be making babies and, and hurting people. Or walking away from people while they're pregnant. Or whatever. Or maybe just walking away from your family. You are the best thing in my life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's get a time frame of when you can expect to hear from them if you haven't already. Some of you may have already heard from this person. Because they feeling you real bad. <laughs> They down bad out here. Down real bad. Still got three readings left. I need one message here, please, for Virgo. Just one card for Virgo. Please. Oh, God, why is it taking so long? Some of y'all don't want to hear from this person. Because no cards are coming up. Okay, this is unreal. Okay, there we go. January. I don't think so. <laughs> My intuition say, uh-uh. Now, it may be between now and January, or maybe in January something significant will happen. But yeah, a look, it says let it happen organically. Maybe something significant will happen by January, but I definitely feel this person will come before January. That's just my intuition. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if this resonated. And I'll see you all next week. Enjoy your weekend. Where I go, peace.